Hello and welcome, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to explore five advanced tactics for life transformation. These strategies are grounded in scientific research and have the power to profoundly change your life. Whether you're looking to enhance your personal or professional life, these tactics will provide you with the tools you need for significant improvement. Number 5. Cultivate Emotional Agility Today, I want to talk about a transformative concept that has the power to fundamentally change how we live and work. Emotional Agility This term, coined by psychologist Susan David, refers to the process of navigating life's changes and challenges with self-awareness, open-mindedness, and the ability to adapt our emotions and actions accordingly. Emotional agility is rooted in the idea that our emotions, thoughts, and stories drive how we react to the world around us. Rather than being controlled by these internal experiences, emotional agility allows us to manage them effectively. This skill is crucial in today's fast-paced and constantly changing world. The concept of emotional agility is grounded in psychological research and theory. It draws on aspects of cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness, and the broader field of positive psychology. Research in these areas has shown that individuals who can adapt their emotional responses are better equipped to face stress, overcome challenges, and seize opportunities. One of the key components of emotional agility is self-awareness. This involves recognizing and labeling our emotions as they arise. By becoming more aware of our emotional responses, we can start to see the patterns in our thoughts and behaviors. Research in the field of emotional intelligence underscores the importance of self-awareness and managing our responses to situations effectively. Another aspect of emotional agility is acceptance. This means allowing ourselves to feel emotions without judgment or immediate reaction. Studies in mindfulness and acceptance-based therapies have shown that acknowledging and accepting emotions reduces their intensity and negative impact. This doesn't mean passivity or resignation. Rather, it's about not being in a constant battle with your emotions. Emotional agility also involves stepping out of our comfort zone and being open to new experiences. This aligns with the psychological concept of optimal anxiety, where a certain level of stress or challenge can actually be beneficial for growth and performance. Embracing change and uncertainty can lead to personal growth and resilience. The next step in emotional agility is the ability to detach from unhelpful thoughts and emotions. This involves recognizing that thoughts and emotions are just internal phenomena and not necessarily truths or commands we must follow. Techniques from cognitive behavioral therapy, such as cognitive distancing, help in achieving this detachment, allowing for more rational and objective responses to situations. Finally, emotional agility involves making values-based decisions. This means acting in ways that align with your core values, even when it's difficult. Research in decision-making and moral psychology shows that actions based on personal values lead to greater fulfillment and a sense of purpose. So, how can we develop emotional agility? It starts with regular self-reflection. Take time to understand your emotional triggers and patterns. Practice mindfulness to become more aware of your thoughts and feelings in the moment. Learn to accept your emotions without judgment, and practice techniques to detach from unhelpful thoughts. Remember, emotional agility is not about ignoring or suppressing emotions. It's about managing them in a way that allows you to live a life that is aligned with your values and goals. In conclusion, emotional agility is a powerful tool for personal and professional growth. It allows us to navigate life's challenges with flexibility, understanding, and resilience. By developing emotional agility, we can transform our responses to the world, leading to a more fulfilling and balanced life. I encourage each of you to explore and cultivate emotional agility. Embrace it as a journey of self-discovery and growth. Remember, in the quest for a transformed life, emotional agility is your compass and guide. Number 4. Implementing Deep Work Let's now delve into the fourth advanced tactic for life transformation, implementing deep work. This concept, introduced by Cal Newport, is about cultivating the ability to focus without distraction on cognitively demanding tasks. 
It's a skill that allows you to quickly master complicated information and produce better results in less time. Deep work is grounded in the understanding that the brain's capacity for concentrated focus is limited, yet incredibly powerful when harnessed effectively. In an era where distraction is ubiquitous, the ability to immerse oneself deeply in a task has become a superpower. Research in cognitive psychology supports this, showing that multitasking, or switching rapidly between tasks, can significantly reduce productivity and diminish the quality of work. The science behind deep work relates to how we harness and direct our attention. Studies have shown that when we focus deeply, we engage parts of our brain associated with complex problem-solving and creativity. This focused state enables us to process information more effectively and produce high-quality work. Moreover, deep work enhances our ability to learn new skills and consolidate information into long-term memory. Another crucial aspect of deep work is its impact on our sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. Engaging deeply in a task can lead to a state of flow, a concept identified by psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi. Flow is characterized by complete absorption in what one does, leading to a sense of joy and timelessness. Work done in this state is not only more productive but also more satisfying. So, how can we implement deep work into our lives? Firstly, it requires the discipline to set aside dedicated time for uninterrupted work. This might involve scheduling specific hours for deep work and making a conscious effort to eliminate distractions during these periods. It could mean turning off notifications, finding a quiet space, or using tools and techniques to foster concentration. Secondly, deep work necessitates a mindset shift. It's about valuing quality over quantity in our work and understanding that true productivity isn't about how busy we are, but about the impact and value of what we produce. This mindset shift involves prioritizing tasks that require deep work and recognizing the importance of focus and concentration. Moreover, implementing deep work involves training your brain for concentration. Just as muscles grow stronger with exercise, our capacity for focused attention improves with practice. Start with shorter periods of deep work and gradually increase the duration as your concentration improves. In conclusion, deep work is a crucial tactic for life transformation. It allows us to produce work of higher quality, learn more effectively, and find greater satisfaction in our professional endeavors. By fostering a deep work practice, we set ourselves up for success in an increasingly distracted world. I encourage each of you to embrace the practice of deep work. Make it a regular part of your routine, and observe the profound impact it has on your productivity and satisfaction. Remember, in the journey towards life transformation, the ability to focus deeply is not just a skill. It's an essential asset. Number 3. Strategic Discomfort As we continue our exploration of advanced tactics for life transformation, we arrive at the third essential strategy, strategic discomfort. This concept involves deliberately stepping out of your comfort zone to foster personal growth, resilience, and adaptability. It's about embracing challenges and unfamiliar situations as opportunities for development, rather than obstacles to be avoided. Strategic discomfort is based on the psychological principle of optimal anxiety, where a certain level of stress or challenge can actually enhance performance and learning. This doesn't mean overwhelming yourself with excessive stress but finding that sweet spot where the challenge is stimulating and motivating, not paralyzing. The science behind this tactic is rooted in the theory of the zone of proximal development, a concept developed by psychologist Lev Vygotsky. It suggests that the most significant growth occurs when we are working on tasks that are just beyond our current abilities. When we stretch ourselves in manageable ways, we expand our skills and knowledge more effectively than if we stick to what's comfortable. Furthermore, facing and overcoming challenges contributes to building resilience. Research in the field of positive psychology has shown that experiencing and adapting to manageable challenges can increase our ability to cope with stress and bounce back from adversity. It's like exercising a muscle. The more we practice resilience, the stronger it becomes. Strategic discomfort also involves embracing failure as a learning opportunity. In our pursuit of growth, failures and setbacks are inevitable. 
The key is to view these not as indicators of inadequacy but as valuable feedback. A study in the Journal of Behavioral Decision Making found that learning from failure can significantly improve future performance and decision-making skills. So, how can we implement strategic discomfort in our lives? First, it requires identifying areas where we feel complacent or stuck and consciously seeking opportunities to push those boundaries. This might involve taking on a new project at work, learning a new skill, or even changing up your daily routine. Another important aspect is to approach these challenges with a growth mindset, a concept popularized by psychologist Carol Dweck. This mindset involves believing that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It encourages us to embrace challenges and persevere in the face of setbacks. It's also crucial to have a support system in place. Engaging in challenging endeavors can be daunting, and having a network of friends, family, or mentors to offer guidance and encouragement can make a significant difference. In conclusion, strategic discomfort is a powerful tool for personal transformation. By stepping out of our comfort zones and embracing challenges, we open ourselves to new possibilities and experiences. We not only enhance our skills and knowledge but also build resilience and a stronger sense of self. I encourage each of you to embrace strategic discomfort. Seek out those opportunities that challenge you, approach them with a growth mindset, and use them as stepping stones to greater personal and professional growth. Remember, in the journey of life transformation, stepping out of your comfort zone is not just beneficial. It's essential. Number 2. Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction Moving forward to the penultimate tactic in our series on life transformation, let's focus on number 2. Mindfulness-Based Stress Reduction MBSR. This approach, developed by John Kabat-Zinn, is about using mindfulness meditation to address various aspects of stress, anxiety, depression, and even physical pain. MBSR has garnered significant attention in both the medical community and the general public for its effectiveness in enhancing mental and physical health. Mindfulness, at its core, is the practice of being fully present in the moment, aware of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment in a non-judgmental way. This simple yet profound practice has roots in ancient meditation traditions but has been adapted in modern psychology as a powerful tool for reducing stress and improving overall well-being. Scientific research on MBSR has shown remarkable results. Clinical trials and studies published in reputable journals like The Lancet and Journal of American Medical Association have demonstrated that mindfulness meditation can significantly reduce the symptoms of various psychological and physical conditions. It's been found effective in lowering stress, reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression, improving sleep, and even managing chronic pain. The effectiveness of MBSR lies in its ability to change our relationship with stress. Instead of attempting to eliminate or avoid stressful situations, mindfulness teaches us to change our response to them. It helps us to observe our thoughts and feelings without getting swept away by them, providing a sense of calm and clarity even in challenging circumstances. Moreover, mindfulness meditation has been shown to impact the brain in ways that support mental health. Neuroscientific research using brain imaging techniques like fMRI has revealed that mindfulness practice can lead to changes in brain areas related to attention, emotion regulation, and self-awareness. These changes not only help in reducing stress but also contribute to greater emotional stability and improved cognitive functioning. Implementing MBSR in your life isn't necessarily complex. It generally involves a structured program that includes mindfulness meditation, body awareness, and yoga. However, the principles of mindfulness can be practiced even without a formal program. Simple practices like focusing on your breath, being aware of your senses, and observing your thoughts and feelings can be incorporated into your daily routine. It's important to approach mindfulness with patience and without expectation. The benefits often accrue gradually and subtly. Regular practice is key. Even just a few minutes of mindfulness meditation each day can make a significant difference over time. In conclusion, mindfulness-based stress reduction is a powerful and scientifically validated approach for transforming your life. 
It equips you with tools to manage stress, enhances your mental and physical health, and improves your overall quality of life. I encourage each of you to explore and practice mindfulness. Whether through a formal MVSR program or your own daily mindfulness practice, the journey towards a more peaceful, centered, and resilient life is well within your reach. Remember, in the realm of personal transformation, mindfulness is not just a technique. It's a pathway to a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Number 1. Continuous Self-Reflection and Feedback as we arrive at the pinnacle of our exploration into advanced tactics for life transformation, we focus on the most integral strategy of all, continuous self-reflection and feedback. This number one tactic is about regularly examining our thoughts, actions, and motivations, and seeking feedback from others to foster personal growth and self-awareness. Continuous self-reflection is a powerful tool for personal development. It involves taking time to thoughtfully consider our behaviors, decisions, and their outcomes. This practice allows us to gain insight into our strengths and weaknesses, helping us to make more informed decisions and align our actions with our true goals and values. The importance of self-reflection is well supported by scientific research. Studies in psychology and behavioral science have shown that individuals who engage in regular self-reflection are better able to understand themselves, learn from their experiences, and adapt their behavior for future situations. It's a process that fosters a deeper understanding of one's own character and motives, which is essential for personal growth and self-improvement. Alongside self-reflection, seeking and acting on feedback is equally important. Feedback, whether from colleagues, friends, or mentors, provides an external perspective on our behavior and its impact on others. It's an invaluable source of information that can challenge our self-perceptions and reveal blind spots in our understanding. The combination of self-reflection and feedback is powerful in enhancing self-awareness. Self-awareness, in turn, is a key component of emotional intelligence, a quality that is linked to success in various aspects of life, including leadership, relationships, and personal well-being. Research in organizational behavior has repeatedly found that leaders who are self-aware and seek feedback are more effective and have more satisfied teams. So, how can we cultivate a practice of continuous self-reflection and feedback? Start by setting aside regular time for reflection. This could be a daily routine where you review your day, or a weekly or monthly session where you consider your recent experiences and their implications. In your reflection, ask yourself challenging questions. What did I do well? Where could I improve? How do my actions align with my values and goals? Be honest with yourself in these reflections. For feedback, seek out people you trust and respect. Ask for their honest opinions about your behavior, work, or decisions. Be open to receiving this feedback without defensiveness, and consider it objectively. It's also important to act on the insights you gain from self-reflection and feedback. Use this information to make adjustments in your behavior, set new goals, or develop new strategies for handling situations. In conclusion, continuous self-reflection and feedback are the most critical tactics for life transformation. They enable us to understand ourselves deeply, learn from our experiences, and make meaningful changes in our lives. So, I encourage each of you to embrace these practices. Reflect regularly, seek feedback, and use these insights for personal growth. Remember, the journey to a transformed life is continuous, and it's through self-reflection and feedback that we navigate this journey most effectively. Conclusion In conclusion, transforming your life involves a combination of cultivating emotional agility, engaging in deep work, embracing strategic discomfort, practicing mindfulness-based stress reduction, and engaging in continuous self-reflection and feedback. These advanced tactics, grounded in scientific research, provide a comprehensive approach to personal and professional improvement. Remember, life transformation is a journey, not a destination. It requires dedication, practice, and a willingness to step out of your comfort zone. So, take these tactics, apply them to your life, and watch as you unlock your full potential. Thank you for joining me today, and here's to your journey of transformation and growth.